Hey guys, welcome back to another protein snack review. Today we've got the Maxine range again. This one is the So Yum. Uh, so a little bit different to the Maxine burn range that we've been doing all week. Uh, these ones are basically just got a little bit more fat and a little bit more carbohydrates in them. Um, that's about it, so they taste better. So uh, this one is the blueberry cheesecake. Um, so I'm sure that's gonna taste pretty damn good. Um, they have a little warning on these bars basically that you should only eat one of them a, a day and that you should be eating it with a you know, nutritious diet anyway. Pretty much all protein bars you should be eating with a nutritious diet anyway. You shouldn't be just smashing protein bars for your daily energy. The reason they tell you only to have one bar per day is because they have a fair bit of sugar alcohol in it. Uh, they have the sorbitol, maltitol, maltitol, I think that's how you say it, and uh, glycerol in them. They're the three sugar alcohols. I can't say them properly, but um, basically all you need to know, they're sugar alcohols, they're in it. Sugar alcohols, they're not like this super bad thing or anything like that. They're just normally either a sweeter version of sugar or they might be 80% as sweet as sugar, so slightly less sweet as sweet as sugar, but um, they won't have four calories per gram. They might have half a calorie per gram sort of thing. So for the amount of sweetness that you get, you pretty much get no calories. So that's the reason companies use them and that's why they're in a lot of protein bars. They have here 3.1 of one, they got 7.8 of the other and three of the other. So maybe like 12 to 15 sugar alcohol in it sort of thing total. Um, yeah, so it's not that much, but they're probably just putting that on there as a warning just to make sure they don't get sued or anything like that. Um, but basically at the end of the day, most people see sort of start seeing side effects of sugar alcohols around 50 grams. And those are like mainly just like you know, go to the loo a little bit quicker, all that kind of stuff, you know, stuff you don't want to get into, but maybe temi uh, like tummy cramps or bloating or something like that. They're kind of sugar alcohol problems. Alrighty guys, so let's get into this for a bit of a taste test. This is the blueberry cheesecake, so it should be pretty good. Uh, just keep in mind that stuff with the sugar alcohol, it's important to know, uh, to be educated about that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, it's definitely not going to kill you or anything even close to that kind of stuff, so. Um, don't be too concerned with it. Uh, this looks a little bit different than I thought. It's blueberry cheesecake. Kind of looks like chocolatey on the top, so a little bit odd there, but I'm sure it's going to taste alright. Okay. Tastes good. It's got a little bit of blueberry in it, which is nice. Yeah, it's a nice blueberry. It's that sweet blueberry. There's not too much tang in it. Very subtle tangs in it for the like sort of fruity side. It's got that like a thick layer of sort of chocolatey stuff on top, but definitely tastes nice. It's a good, a good blueberry flavor. I definitely get that sort of subtle cheesecake. You're not as creamy as like a cheesecake sort of flavor sort of thing. Um, it is nice. I like it, but it's not like blowing my mind. The stats on it are pretty good. Um, the protein's a little bit low for how much fat's in it, um, but the flavor is really nice. And there's all that sugar alcohol in it, which you just got to be mindful of. It's not a negative or anything like that. Just be mindful of it. For this bar, I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's a good bar. It's a good, you know, all-round bar. Um, but for me, it just didn't really sort of blow my mind. So, uh, that's a 7 for today, guys. And, yeah, let's get into the weekend. Make sure you like the video um, and share it if you can. It really helps. And, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.